What's up guys? So I know that the MacBook Retina displays are really beautiful with their high resolution screens but as you can know the screen is also really expensive and fragile. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to replace the screen only without the back lid. Just so you know this repair is really hard and painful but it can save you a lot of money this way. So as you can see when the MacBook turns on the Apple logo will look blurry, yes, as you can see, and then the screen goes black. So, without being said, let's get into the replacing process. So, we are gonna start by removing the bottom case cover, and then the first thing you need to do is remove the battery itself. As you can see, I'm trying to remove it with. A plastic tweezers but I didn't manage to do that so I had to use my hands uh, also you need to remove it really carefully so now uh, all we need to do is remove the screws that holds the LCD board as you can see in these models from 2016 until now uh, Apple is making those boards on the bottom case uh, so they can save a lot more space on the screen so they can make the screen a lot thinner so uh, now uh, that the board is loose we are gonna remove uh, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna uh, which it, it's holding uh, it's holding to the bottom case with four screws and now we are gonna remove the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth cables uh, I need to tell you to be careful because they are really fragile so now we are removing the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna which is also used in this model as a cooling heat, heating sink to remove the screen from the bottom housing we need to unscrew only two T8 screws out of three screws and leave one on each side it doesn't matter which one you want by leaving those two screws, they are gonna help us to hold the screen. While we open the MacBook with the screen facing down, like so in the video. And then unscrew the two screws and lift the LCD gently, so we can have our LCD loose. As for the tools that we are gonna use in this repair to remove the screen, you will need a palette knife or a spaluta in the world of old painters. And also we are going to use a thin piece of stiff plastic. As you can see, it's very thin and it's very bendy and can go between the screen and the back lid. So first, what we need to do is to remove the plastic black panel that is glued at the bottom of the LCD where the MacBook Air logo. By applying heat and using the thin stiff plastic to enter between the LCD and the panel, you are gonna manage to remove it carefully, as I'm showing you here in the video. After we remove the plastic panel, we have several T5 screws that are holding another plastic panel that we need to unscrew to release the flex cables and the lower part of the screen. Here we have two hiding screws underneath the rubber framing. Also we will need to remove the rubber framing so we don't damage it. When applying heat to remove the screen, just gently pull up the rubber framing from the sides. It's glued with a double sided tape. Very carefully and don't use force, you don't want to stretch it. This rubber framing is used to protect the screen when it's closed, so there are no pressure on the screen, preventing the screen from being damaged. Now that everything is out of the way, we can start the separating process. Just pull up the screen from the corner so you can enter the knife and start applying heat in the same spot that you are slicing. Don't use too much heat and also be careful not to overheat. Just move constantly in the same spot that you are slicing. And remember, take your time. You don't want the screen to crack into small pieces. Then it will be harder to remove the screen and you can damage the backlight film. Gently and with a steady hand continue slicing on the other side. At any time if you feel that the knife is not helping or you crack the screen, that's okay. This repair is not easy, it takes a lot of patience. I for example have managed to crack the screen on the sides, not everyone is perfect. 
so I had to use an extra hand to help me heat up while I was slicing in between. Now that we've sliced to the upper side of the screen, the process will be a lot easier. Continue heating and slicing with the stiff plastic and be careful when you get to the FaceTime camera. Just run over the stiff plastic so you can cut free the screen easily. Now that we finished slicing the glue between the LCD and the back lid, we can lift the cracked screen from the lid, but carefully, not to attract too much dust onto the back light. With the help of a tweezers, start removing what's left over of the cracked glass. Again, really carefully, so the small cracked glass don't get on the back light. I'm gonna try and leave most of the old glue, because it's an original glue, and it can be used several times. Believe me, it's working. I do this frequently on the iPads, and it's working perfectly. After the cleaning, it's time for the new LCD test, before installing the LCD to make sure that the LCD is good and have no problems. You need to check for dead pixels and any lines on the LCD that shouldn't be there. Now install the new glue in the damaged glue area. I'm using a clear double-sided glue 3M. I would recommend this glue. From my experience, this is the best glue you will use for this kind of repairs. Make sure the glue is cut to fill the exact same spots that was the old glue. Cut the leftover tape on the outside of the screen, where the rubber framing will sit. You'll need one more thing to transfer from the old cracked LCD, which is the metal panel at the bottom of the LCD. It is very important to transfer this panel since we are replacing the LCD only without the lid. I am removing the panel with a metal string, which is used for removing cracked glass on phones. It's a much easier way. And then you will need to clean the old double sided tape and install the new one. I am also using here the same 3M double sided tape.
And now for the fun part, which is first of all, is installing back the rubber framing. And then we are gonna glue the metal panel, so it gives us the exact orientation of the LCD where it should be glued exactly. We are now gonna press on the panel to glue it to the LCD. On the other side of the panel, glue the LCD board control to the metal panel, but be careful do not damage the flex cables. Now we have everything ready to install our new LCD to the lid. Check first for dust on the backlight film and do not leave fingerprints on it or press with the cotton pads. Just a light touch with the butt is enough to remove the dust. Remove the tape cover and remove the back protecting cover of the LCD. Also check for any fingerprints or dust on the LCD. Gently press on the LCD to glue it to the lid and start screwing the screws back and assembling the LCD back to the bottom case. And now for the final test to check our work. Unfortunately, I can't do any further test because I don't have the password. But thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more interesting repairs. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I will try to answer them. I'll see you next time.